Hey, Mark here from Shadforth Civil. Just a quick rundown video today on how to get a GCS 900 system uh, running off Shadnet. This video will take into account that the system is already pre-configured with an SNM 940 modem, uh, already has an active SIM card, and the Telstra or whatever carrier um, the SIM card is, APN has been set in the system already. Just to double, double check that the modem is working correctly, we'll just uh, open up your menu button. Just make sure when you boot the screen up that it's in manager mode as well. Make things a little bit easier. Scroll down the bottom, all the way to the bottom, and go to diagnostics, and you'll want to make sure that you've got your SNM 940 wireless modem is connected. The next thing you want to do is just click the back button and go back to your setup menu. Then you need to click installation on the side uh, and scroll down to connectivity settings. Now this is where if you haven't didn't have the Telstra APN set already you'd go into your internet connection settings and you'd set the APN but as I said uh, we're, we're factoring in that that's already been done so we'll, uh, we'll continue on. So you want to go to GNSS base configuration. Right now you can see that our, rate, our uh, system was configured to run off the SNR uh, local base, which is your standard UHF radio. Um, alternatively, it, it might be known in your system as a um, third party radio local base, uh, if it was a TDL radio or, or similar. We want to be running VRS slash single base remote base for Shadnet. So what you want to do is you want to scroll up and create a new one. Server, you want to put all the Shadnet login information in, which is rtk.shadnet.com.au. All of this information should be provided to you uh, in an email with your username and password uh, in there as well. So for the username and password for this purpose, I'm just going to put test in there. So this is where you'll put your company specific information in and then you'll want to go next on that it'll connect to the server and you'll be greeted with a mount point list so a mount point list is pretty much just your base station list now you want to choose which one um, which base station uh, your job site is running off uh, which will be determined uh, and known by the survey team working on that job site uh, we're going to go off the head office here where I am at the moment choose the head office base station it'll tell you to call it a name so by default it'll just be called whatever you chose um, so you can just hit finish on there and then you get this it's pre-configured there RTCM3 head office VRS single base now the active configuration is the little asterisk which is obviously still on SNR local base so if you just make sure that this is highlighted and press OK that will tell it to select that VRS remote base so if we go back into there now you can see the little active configuration is against that one now to test that everything's working you can have that highlighted and press the test button down the bottom here if you're on manager mode so you can press on there it'll give you a remote base test it'll tell you which one you want to test press test on there it'll connect to the server and if everything's working well you'll get a message like this successfully connected and validated the correction stream press OK so that's pretty much it that's um, that means you should be up and running now and if you go back out to your main menu you should have uh, you should have cut fills and and everything should be working fine um, one thing to note is down here um, this is like your cell phone reception box now because I'm on a simulator uh, I don't actually have any cell phone bars down here but on your machine you should have little cell phone bars in there just like on just like on our reception bars just like on your cell phone uh, if you have a cross in there like what I have uh, there could potentially be something wrong with your modem or antenna or something like that not getting a signal so yeah 